Hi, I'm Dave Hughes. I'm originally from Oregon. I'm a national competitive bodybuilder. I moved down to California back in 2001. I've uh, been bodybuilding since 1989 and uh, just kind of living my dream. I met Stevie um, about 15 years ago, actually. He came up to me in the gym and uh, wanted me to train him and wanted to get ready for a show. I told him, uh, hey, I'm going to do the LA. You might as well do it with me. It's time to put up or shut up. We talk about competing all the time and it just never happened. It's a huge commitment to diet for a show and go through all the steps. One of my clients uh, was a sales rep for this pump. So what it does, it relaxes uh, the muscle spasms in your body. So uh, I connected these guys together and Steve actually was able to get the pump through his insurance and I saw a huge change in him. Once he was able to get the pump, his muscle spasms started relaxing a little bit. He was able to get more uh, range of motion and um, he was actually able to do a lot more of the poses. My name is Stevie V. I'm from Portland, Portland, Oregon. I'm a I'm a stand-up comic and a bodybuilder. I've been bodybuilding for 15 years. Basically, just uh, I didn't know what else to do with myself, and so I just trained with Dave all the time just to keep myself out of trouble. And three years ago. When I changed my attitude, I got out of self-pity. I was able to finally stay out of self-pity long enough where I could really diet down and do a show. And I did my, I did my first show last year and uh, it felt great. It was like a personal achievement. That, you know, I've been, I've been trying to do it for 15 years. It felt, it was like a moral victory. You know it's true, I fell for you. Come see it with your own eyes, that falling of a new kind. It's just your fear that keeps you here. Come step into the bright side And then truth's untold All that is given Is all that you need I feel it with your own view Trusting that you hold the answers here came up to me in the gym and like I said it was like 15 years ago so back then it was like he was like a young kid coming up to me he wanted my help you know he was very uh, motivating you know to other people did bodybuilding bring me and Stevie together I'd say yes it did you know because that was the reason why he came to me in the first place he came into the gym talking to the manager saying he wanted someone to train him Steve that was a manager brought him over to me and said hey this kid wants to you know, bodybuilders looking for a trainer, can you help him? How can I turn him down? And I knew he didn't have a lot of money, so I thought I'd just help him a little bit on my own time. And then it just turned out, we just really hit it off. He's just a really cool guy, and he's got a great personality. And uh, we just had a lot of fun together in the gyms, and we just became really good friends. What is it like to have cerebral palsy? Um, some days I forget that I have cerebral palsy, and so I, I, Put very, very high standards for myself, and um, some days I feel very, really good about myself. If I'm staying positive, I can have a really good day, and my body's very relaxed, and I'm very outgoing. And the minute I lose that, my body tenses up, I start walking worse, and then my, my attitude starts going downhill. I've given up on myself plenty of times, and I've I've been there with, with no hope. Now that I'm putting positive people or positive energy out, I'm getting positive energy back. Dave Hughes is just someone that it went through my twenty years of for me, life ain't fair. He stuck through. 
he sat there with me and, you know, now, now I'm just a totally different person. I just want to do what I, what I can do to keep myself positive. And, and if I get help other people do that while I'm doing that, then that just makes me feel even better. Three years ago, a friend of mine said, you know, instead of being angry that you have this disability, play with it, try and be happy that you have it. And so ever since I've said, you know what, God gave you this challenge for a reason, why don't you do something positive with it? And then my attitudes started changing. Now I try to look at myself as a gift, you know, but before I was at myself, it poured me a handicap. I was dealt with this challenge for a reason, and so it's my job to do the best I can do with my disability. He doesn't know this yet, so I don't know if I should be here or if I should do it with, with him, like down in the gym or whatever, but I talked to Gaspar Nutrition about a week and a half ago. I talked to Rich and Liz about sponsoring. And uh, he was totally cool with sponsoring him. If I'm being the best person that I can be, then that helps me get through the day. If I'm feeling sorry for myself, then my whole day has gone bad. So I just, I tell myself every day, I've been given this for a reason. I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to help motivate other people. And that helps me motivate myself. Hopefully I inspire people to want to be a better person. And um, I think I need to see somebody who was built a challenge and tries to make the best of the challenge every day. You change your attitude, you never know what you can do with your life. Hang on to your dreams, as hopeless as it seems. Like a scary thing, that's where I